One of my favorite things to do on the serger is the narrow rolled hem. I do it on all my, my scarves, my knit tops, things like that. This is with a variated thread. The only thing I have to do is to change the settings on the serger. So I start by putting the needle in the up position, lifting the presser foot, and I'm just gonna trim out this thread. We're only gonna use three threads, meaning we're getting rid of the left needle. So I'm gonna pull that out a little bit and then I just remove that left needle. All you have to do is unscrew it and put that, tighten the screw back up. You don't want that to fall out while you're surging. The next thing I'll do is I need to change the tensions. This, we're not using the left needle so we can leave it alone. This one, we're gonna up it to five, which is one increase. This one, I'm changing from four to five. And the lower looper, I'm changing from four all the way up to seven. So those are the settings for the tension. The next thing we need to do is to change the stitch length. And I'm going to turn this all the way down. It's kind of nice, there's an R for rolled hem. I will do nothing to the differential feed. And then I will come over here and there's just two more settings. This is the stitch width. This controls how wide the knife is and how wide the stitch is. You're gonna roll this back all the way till it says R. So R and R for rolled hem. Then the last thing you need to do is a little tricky. Make sure your needle is in the up position and there's what they call a stitch finger. You're gonna take the stitch finger and just gently pull it out. And there's actually a place right in here that you can store this if you want to. I'm just gonna take it out for now. But that's your stitch finger and you should be good to go for a rolled hem. So let's just test it. Grab a piece of fabric. Put this down, and remember all of this chain stitch, be sure to leave a long chain stitch. I'm just testing the stitch just to make sure. It looks like it's stitching all right, but let's just compare. Now it is a good idea to do this stitch on whatever fabric you're gonna be stitching on. Let me just lay this next to the silk. You can see that the stitch has a little bit of puckering right here, but then it started to even out. Let's look at the back side. It's not bad, but what I would probably do is run this through again, adjust the tensions a little bit more, and that's how simple it is to set up a rolled hem.